Thessalonikim Shani, 2 Thessalonians 2. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Adonai Yahusha, HaMashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by Ruach, nor by word, nor by Sefer, as from us, as that the day of Yahweh is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called Yah, or that is worshipped, so that he as Yah sits in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself that he is Yahweh. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye know at what withholds that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now lets will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the, rather, that Torahless one be revealed, whom Adonai Yahusha shall consume with the ruach of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Hath even him whose coming is after the working, working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause Yah shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yah for you, brethren, beloved of Yahweh, because Yah has from the beginning chosen you to Yahshua through sanctification of the Ruach and belief of the truth, whereunto he called you by our Besora to the obtaining of the glory of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and keep the commandments which ye have been taught, whether by word or our Sefer. Now our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach himself and Yahweh, even our Father, which has loved us, and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work, rather, every good word and work.